Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Jamison. I'm medical director of the cancer care program for the Southeast Georgia Health System. I'm a radiation oncologist and director of the CyberKnife program here as well. CyberKnife is a very focused form of radiation. It's a play on words. It's not really a knife. It's hundreds of radiation beams focused precisely on a target, sparing normal tissue and hitting the target with a very high dose of radiation. It's done in five days or less, which, which differentiates it from conventional radiation, which is more than five days, typically several weeks. CyberKnife is one to five days. It's completely non-invasive, it's painless, but has surgical precision, hence the, the name knife. We use it to treat cancers in anywhere in the body. We have lung cancer, prostate cancer, brain tumors, spine tumors, liver, uh, both curative cases and palliative cases. Uh, it's a very effective, uh, safe way to eradicate uh, tumors that otherwise cannot be treated. CyberKnife treatment is really a team effort. We work with your other physicians, your surgeons, your medical oncologists, in developing a treatment plan and what is best for you. CyberKnife is complementary to conventional radiation therapy. Some patients, their best treatment is CyberKnife, some is conventional, and having experience with both, we know what is best for, for you. I've been working with CyberKnife since 2006. I started the CyberKnife program in Arlington, Virginia before starting the program here at the Southeast Georgia Health System in Brunswick. I've treated several hundred patients on CyberKnife. We have a very experienced staff here at Southeast Georgia Health System, not only physicians but the physicists and the therapists who've been working on CyberKnife for many years. We have the latest, most sophisticated CyberKnife equipment. But most importantly, the care and comfort of our patients comes first. Patients have a very good experience coming here. We actually get patients from all across the country. Treatment only takes five days or less, and so the travel time and time away from home is minimal. We can assure you that you can get safe and effective treatment here in a short amount of time. Hi, I'm Dr. Kenyon Meadows and I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Cancer Care Center. I'm part of the physician team that uh, performs CyberKnife radiosurgery treatments for cancer. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how one goes about starting the CyberKnife process, either for yourself or for a loved one. Through our relationships with referring doctors, most of our patients are referred in after we've educated the, the referring doctor on what the typical indications are for CyberKnife treatment. However, some patients prefer to call directly, and if that's the case, we have an experienced nurse navigator who will take that call, uh, ask the relevant questions, and gather the appropriate documentation, and we'll schedule a consultation directly that way. We at Southeast Georgia Health System understand that a cancer diagnosis oftentimes can be very anxiety provoking. Unfortunately, getting access to technologically advanced cancer care can sometimes take weeks uh, at larger centers. I'm happy to say that we are able to get most patients in within one week's time from when they request their initial consultation. And once they get here, they'll find a dedicated, friendly staff uh, committed to getting the best outcome for them. Lots of patients wonder if they can continue to see their primary care doctor or other oncologist while they undergo CyberKnife? Short answer is yes. Most patients who have cancer have multiple physicians that are involved in their care, surgeons, chemotherapy doctors, and CyberKnife is often just one component of that care. So it's not unusual for a patient to come, have their CyberKnife treatment, have follow-up with us, but also very much uh, in an integrated fashion with follow-up with their doctors that were previously involved in their care. An additional uh, aspect of that is that with CyberKnife, we've started to treat patients from a much larger geographic area than before, um, out of the county, some patients out of the state, and so sometimes patients come here, get their treatment, but it's more practical for them to follow up with their local doctors, and we always encourage that. The CyberKnife from a technological standpoint, is capable of treating cancers that occur anywhere in the body. Some of the most common indications are for use in the brain, lung, and prostate. And another common scenario is when we have cancer that is spread from the initial organ to another organ and is causing pain. And we oftentimes may use it for pain relief. 
In all of these scenarios, we're often able to accomplish our goal in a matter of days as opposed to weeks with conventional radiation. Hello, I'm Bruce Tripp. I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Health System. I have been with the Health System for 22 years now and I'm a member of the CyberKnife team. A lot of people want to know how long the treatment procedure takes. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes with about a 10 minute setup time. So the patients are on the table about 45 to 50 minutes. We always have them positioned in a very comfortable manner. We have a TV that they can watch during the treatment so that they can remain calm. Some patients actually listen to music while they're receiving the treatment. The side effects from CyberKnife treatment are actually minimal. There's no bleeding. There's no cutting, there's no scarring. The patients are treated in a very comfortable position. The treatment takes about 45 minutes. Most of our retired patients leave and go play golf after treatment. We understand that the, the diagnosis of cancer is a very stressful time in someone's life. However, our patients find that this is a very comfortable place and that the treatments are really not stressful. They find a, a caring staff they meet people that, that are undergoing cancer treatments as well. Uh, and when they leave here, they, they feel like they've had a very positive experience. Uh, my name is George Baggs. I have a retired teacher from Augusta, Georgia, where I taught in a technical school. I uh, taught over 30 years in the trade and industrial area in computer graphics and also graphics. I'm married. I have a wife now of 47 years. I've got two kids. I've got a grandkid. I've got three grandkids, excuse me, and I got a great grandkid going the way. Uh, and back in October 2010, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, my urologist, who is also here in the hospital, and uh, my PSA had gone up to 4.8 from about 3.8. And uh, he said, we better do a biopsy. The reason I was so vigilant is because my dad died from complications due to prostate cancer in his 70s. So, uh, you know, I've pretty much been looking for, for the prostate cancer here. So 30 years, a long time to look for it, but I knew it was probably more than likely going to happen. My urologist highly recommended CyberKnife. Well, CyberKnife was a little term that I did remember, but I didn't, didn't know exactly all of the technology for the new generation of computer graphics and uh, treatment with the x-rays. But I came and saw Dr. Tim Jameson and Brenda Fischel, uh in the unit here, and uh, they explained what was going on. And I said, you know, it's probably a good way to treat my prostate cancer and they all agreed so uh, from that we started with the three markers or four markers into the prostate which sounds like yeah, it's kind of hurts a little bit no it was a little uncomfortable it wasn't bad we did an MRI we did a CAT scan and then the following week I started my treatments the treatments were five uh, one a day for about an hour for the entire week I started on Monday we had to lay very still on the table and uh, the robotic arm would move around you and deliver the uh, x-rays. Uh, the neat thing about CyberKnife is that it has a pinpoint accuracy and the pinpoint accuracy is plus or minus a millimeter so they can prog program it where it is and move it around through the prostate without destroying any outside uh, regions of the body. So my side effects were very, very nil. I just, uh, you know, I was fatigued a little bit, went back to working, uh, you know, playing with the grandkids, fishing, hiking, uh, everything that I do in retirement, probably within a couple of weeks. So I did pretty good. Dr. Jamison is a very professional individual, very caring, very compassionate. He met with me along with Brenda Fischel, the cyber knife nurse, and we talked about uh, what the procedure was going to be to and how it's going to work, highly recommend these people to anyone with prostate cancer or other type of cancers as well. They can really, you know, uh, benefit by coming and seeing these people. I'm feeling great. I really am. The uh, 
all of the side effects, if there were any at all, really, are going by the wayside and enjoying life. Uh, it's, it's hard to believe that I had any cancer treatment, and CyberKnife is just fantastic for that. Hello, my name is Kathleen Shanahan, but everyone here calls me Kate, and I'm a radiation therapist here. I've been a radiation therapist working with CyberKnife technology for about five years now, and I'm one of the radiation therapists that you'll see when you come in for your treatment. This is the CyberKnife suite and this is where I work. So I thought you might like the opportunity for me to show you around a little bit. Over here is our treatment couch and this is where people will be lying down for their treatment and we do everything we can possible to try to make you comfortable. We also have a television that we have mounted to our ceiling. That way you have something to watch during the treatment to help take your mind off of things or if you so choose you can also listen to music. And this is the CyberKnife robot itself. Once we have you all lined up and ready for treatment, the CyberKnife is going to move forward and it's going to come across you and it's going to move from side to side, but it's not going to touch you. And then once the treatment is done, it's going to go back to this position. One of the many reasons I love being a CyberKnife therapist and being a part of CyberKnife technology is because this way we have another option for patients that may have been told that there were no more options. And just being a part of that is monumental. Today. Good. How are you doing? I'm glad we could come see you. Hi, I'm Susan. These are my therapy dogs, Angel and China. Would you like to hold sure. them? Angel and China are therapy dogs of Glenn members. Um, they love to be loved by the patients, and I think the patients really get a lot out of being able to love Angel and China. They love to be petted. I think it's calming. Hi, I'm Ed Storch. I'm a volunteer in the Cancer Center. I volunteer here because of the patients. I, I enjoy watching them interact with the nurses and the doctors and to see how they maintain a positive attitude as a result of this interaction and I do whatever I can in helping the patients maintain a positive attitude and make their stay here pleasant while they are being treated.